video applies to any compressor or vacuum pump that uses a diaphragm or reed valves for intake and exhaust. Hope you enjoy. Welcome to Not Factory Approved, the site where I try and show uh, successful or unsuccessful projects, repairing, restoring, building things from scratch, some house construction, some electronics, some mechanical, some fabrication, various projects. This is a vacuum pump, so today I will be rebuilding this, or at least cleaning up the veins and making it work again. When I started this, uh, I originally was using it to test the uh, vacuum operated windshield washer on the Cadillac, and it uh, was very weak. So I took it apart and I will show you what I did. The difference between a vacuum pump and a compressor is how they're connected. This one has the suction on the intake, so it, whatever you're using is connected to the intake, and the exhaust has this little muffler on it. If I reversed it, then I would have a compressor. This is a reed style, which means it's got little reeds inside, uh, an intake and an exhaust. And it, what I'm doing today applies to a diaphragm style pump as well. If it uses a diaphragm as a as a reed setup, then it has exactly the same function. When taking anything apart that uh, has a plate or a, a head or some kind of assembly that's bolted together, uh, this particular one only has four and four. These are two separate plates. They don't attach. These screws don't go right through underneath. These screws hold the head on. These screws hold the uh, valve plate on, or the cover for the chamber, rather. Anytime you're taking apart anything like this, it's good to start furthest from the center and remove, loosen those slightly, and then work on the inside. If there was eight of them, that would be the pattern. Start on the outside, go across, and do a pattern such as that. Uh, these only have four, so it's just a st straight diagonal. I was trying to use this vacuum pump to drive that windshield washer pump to make sure it worked. This vacuum pump is pretty anemic, and that's why the corrosion on the ports being in storage. So I'll have to clean that, clean that, take the head off here, and clean the one underneath as well. And it also is corroded. What they say, cleanliness is next to functionality. This type of vacuum pump, and it's a very common style of design, uses a piston. The piston runs a rubber diaphragm that actually forms the seal. And then this clamps it in place to the piston. And I see why the reed valve was floating around, because that nut matches the screw and it comes through from the top. So you put both reed valves on and then put the head on top of the piston. So I'm going to give this some rubber renew, clean it up a bit more, clean the corrosion off everything, clean the reed valves and put it back together. And you can see it says property of Saskatoon City Hospital. I didn't steal it, honest. If you ever work in a vacuum pump, you can see if you look carefully that there's a slight step in this. So this holds the reed valve in place. The reed valve has to move, so that's why it has that step. And fortunately that becomes obvious because you can, you can see where the screw was mounted before. The head is now a lot cleaner than it was. So it has one reed valve that side and those little foam filters you can see. And the other side going the opposite direction is the other reed valve. So this is intake on this side and this is out on the other side. And then the porting in the chamber determines which is which. So this is outflow with the arrow, inflow. Always make sure with Allen wrenches that they are fully seated in the screw. If you don't, if you're only partway in, you'll strip out the top of the screw. 
Now I will do these four. Just basically hand tight. I just make sure it's not warped by compressing one part of the gasket more than the other. Now for the final. It's definitely better than it was. You hear that? Didn't do that before. And it's pulling, I can hear it pulling that up quite a bit more and it sucks the water up quite a bit faster. But this one-way valve is leaking. It doesn't pump out yet. <laughs>